Good evening, everybody. It's great to have the opportunity to speak to you tonight at the KiwiNet Commercialisation Awards. Uh, firstly, I'm very sorry that I couldn't be there in person. I would love to have been. Uh, I, I'm very passionate about the commercialisation of science into successful uh, businesses, uh, but unfortunately I had to travel, so I'm not able to be there. But I wish you a very, very successful evening. And first up, I'd like to congratulate all the nominees who've had an opportunity to review the list and some very, very talented people and some fantastic ideas there. And I hope you have an enjoyable evening uh, celebrating the achievements, not just of the winners, but of course, uh, all the nominees uh, that you'll hear from tonight as well. Uh, Commercialisation is crucially important. It's, a, it's something which uh, we need to do more of in New Zealand. We have some wonderful science and some of it is highly applicable uh, to industries and to uh, entrepreneurial opportunities. So the nexus of science and commercialisation is pretty key. The government, of course, is focused on that and a range of other things with our business growth agenda, uh, which is really uh, trying to lift New Zealand's performance economically over the next 10 or 12 years to this point where we can achieve exports at 40% of GDP. And as many of you people in the room tonight are actually turning that target into reality with the work that you're doing, uh, and I salute that. So business growth agenda is about six key elements that businesses need to succeed. Uh, skills, of course, access to markets, access to natural resources, access to capital, uh, access to the supporting public infrastructure, and in particular case of this instance tonight, the access to innovation. And innovation is crucially important for any company to build a long-term sustainable competitive advantage. So KiwiNet's role here is very important. Its ability to bring people together, uh, to look at opportunities, to help uh, the collaboration to bring a company together, to bring the right skills and talent together is very important. And government supports its work in two key ways. Firstly, with the Pre-Seed Accelerator Fund, which spends over $5 million a year uh, with organisations such as KiwiNet, which in fact KiwiNet uh, picks up almost half of the Pre-Seed Accelerator Fund in this year's funding round. But also the Commercialisation Partnership Network, uh, which KiwiNet is part of. So. Uh, very pleased to see the progress that's being made and of course the number of companies that have been launched under that umbrella over the last few years. The uh, government is making further investments in science and innovation in this year's budget. It's not easy because of course uh, we have the challenge of returning to fiscal surplus uh, but managed to talk my dear friend the uh, Minister of Finance into a further investment in the science and innovation area, an additional $200 million over four years. Uh, and that money is being used in three very important ways. Firstly, we're putting more money into R&D co-funding for businesses, and that's being done through the new Callaghan Innovation. And the interesting thing there is that that lifts that co-funding of research into high-tech manufacturing businesses, into ICT research and so on, to $142 million a year. It's a very substantial co-funding investment with New Zealand companies. We're also putting money into startup funding it's repayable funding for startups through incubators of an additional $31.5 million over the next four years. That's a new, a new initiative and I look forward to seeing that develop. In regards to the investment in public science, we're going to put additional money firstly into the National Science Challenges, another big investment over the next four years, the big new investment tool, uh, with $133 and a bit million dollars over that four year period to invest in the 10 key uh, science challenges that New Zealand faces over the next 10 or so years. Now they have already been decided, as many of you will be aware, uh, through the peak panel led by Sir Peter Gluckman. The topics of those 10 challenges and now we're in the process of working through with the research community as to how best to put those challenges together. I'm very excited by them because it will lead to a real strategic direction uh, for some of our mission-led science, uh, which will help also in terms of uh, commercialisation because a number of the areas where the work's been done, there is real commercialisation potential. Uh, in, in areas like the environment, but also in health, uh, advanced foods, uh, technological innovation and so on. So that's a pretty exciting initiative. And finally, just to take the opportunity to note that our Blue Skies Research Fund, uh, Marsden Fund, uh, is being uh, invested more and again this year as well. We're going up about 11% per annum, uh, and that additional funding of $5 million a year will just help uh, create more opportunities for investigators to follow their own uh, initiatives and their own uh, ideas and, uh, and themes in terms of the Marsden Fund applications. So it's a, it's a very good package in the current fiscal environment and overall in, in science and innovation we've now seen a very significant increase over the last four years, around 28% increase in our investment. 
and that's despite the, the toughest uh, financial crisis since the Great Depression back in the 30s. Uh, we're also seeing benefits in terms of the amount of business investment going on as well uh, and we've just had announced that the uh, business R&D measured by the Department of Statistics has gone up 25% that businesses are putting in over the last two years. So the trick now is to leverage more of that investment as we build this innovation stream and the business growth agenda. This is all hugely important for New Zealand. Uh, frankly, my view is we have to develop on all fronts uh, and take all our opportunities with exports, whether it's in high ICT, uh, food and beverage, uh, in high tech manufacturing, anywhere you care to name agricultural technology. Uh, it's all about taking our uh, ideas, our innovation, our intellectual property out into the world and making it a success. And tonight you're celebrating a very important part of that story. So can I again wish you to have a wonderful evening. I hope you enjoy yourself immensely. I'm, I'm very jealous to have that you have the opportunity to hear all these great stories tonight. And I wish the finalists and also the winners of the various categories are all the best in their ongoing commercialisation successes. Thanks very much.